It's uh, what, 130 now? Yeah, and I'm grown. Okay, that's fine. All right, like I said, you, you got it right Oh, okay. Am I being the tank? Am I free to leave? Not right now. Am I being the tank? Uh, yeah. For what? Now. Right now, I'm just asking you some questions. Around mid-February 2023 in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, the man recording this video was walking to the store around 2 a.m. when he was stopped by Tuscaloosa police. They claim that they're stopping him simply because he's walking at 2 a.m. and that crimes have been committed in this neighborhood previously. When I call the department and give them this set of circumstances and ask them if I can call the police to deal with black men walking in my neighborhood at 2 a.m., they seem appalled and disgusted that I would even think to call the police and use them to stop a man against his will just for walking in my neighborhood. Then when I tell them that officers with their department have done exactly this, they don't want to talk anymore. Um, walk. Okay, where are you walking? I'm walking to the store with that man. You live around here? Yep. Where do you live? Hey, I'm not being detained. I ain't did nothing. Am I being under arrest? Listen, listen. It's, uh, what, 130 now? Yeah, and I'm grown. Okay, that's fine. Right, like I said, you, you got it right oh, now. Oh, okay. Am I being detained? Am I free to leave? Not right now. Am I being detained? Uh, yeah. For right what? Now. Right now, I'm just asking you some questions. Can I get your name and badge number? Yeah, my name is Officer Coker, 2517. Okay, listen. I'm being harassed, y'all. Okay. Well, listen, this area, right, we have a 1080, or we have a extra patrol around this area. Basically anybody after hours out walking around, we get out with them, make contact with them, see what they're doing, and stuff oh, like that. Okay. Well, I just told you I'll do I'm headed to the store. Okay, where you live? Around the corner. Where's around the corner? Around, I, am I being detained? I ain't got yeah, to answer no right. questions. Yeah. Am right. I, okay, for what? I ain't did nothing suspicious, I ain't, what? Like I said, we're just getting out talking to people about okay. walking around. Okay, I'm headed to the store. I stay around the corner. I got you. All right. Being harassed, being harassed. What's your address, sir? I'll stay around the corner. If you want to. Uh, That's your name? Yeah. Okay. What's your date of birth, sir? Zero. You can look. Zero one look, look it up on my. Uh, I don't want to answer no more questions. Okay. That's cool. LeVar, you coming? Mm hmm. Okay. I'm being detained, though. Yeah. Well, I ain't being detained. I don't know. Being harassed. Being harassed. That's what it is. I'm being harassed out here. Y'all is. I ever, I evidently, like y'all harass me. Hell. Y'all stopping me, and I'm just walking to the store. I ain't bothering nobody. Y'all talking about I'm being detained, and I ain't yeah, did nothing. He, what he told you? He said we got an extra patrol in this area for people. Okay, and going I just. Over this fence, well, I. What well, am I going over the fence? I'm no, going. But okay. You're by. I'm going to the store. It's a that's, sidewalk. I mean, that's cool. We this just, public, ain't it? Out with you. Okay, this it's public. In the exactly. So why y'all bothering me? Because I'm walking to the store. We're not necessarily Bray, I just walked to the store last night at two in the morning and ain't nobody see y'all. So evidently it can't be no extra patrol. Right nah. Doesn't mean that we can be here well, so many of us. well, like I said, I'm walking to the store. Ain't no need, ain't no need for the harassment. Well, there's no harassment. Like, yeah. Can I get your name and bad number? Yeah, you know. Officer Boy. What's your bad number? You said bad number? 2625. Okay. I get your name and bad number? Okay. Why are you wearing a jacket in 70 degree weather? Because I just came out the door and it felt like a little cool and I need to put a coat uh, put a coat on. I'm walking to the store. Is, they, is it illegal? No, it's not illegal. Oh, okay. It's kind of strange that you put a jacket on the Oh, well, I just walked out the door. Before I put my coat on, it felt a little windy and I said I'm going to put my coat on. Okay. At 2 in the morning, just walking by. Yeah, and I'm going to the store. Okay. All right. Okay. I just told y'all that. I'm going to the store. <laughs> oh, okay. But that's enough for us to make a Terry stop. Nah, it's enough for y'all to harass me. Well, you keep using the word what, what's, that what, what's, suspicious, what's suspicious? What's suspicious that's been going that's going on? Y'all stopping trying to detain me. It's multiple UBNEs in this apartment complex. Man, ain't UBNEs. nobody jumping these gates over here, bro. Ain't nobody. You ain't nobody know. jumping. Ain't nobody jumping these gates in months. Ain't no many kid. Ain't no kids jump these gates in a while, bro. These kids don't even come over here no more because they've been barred, bro. Come on, bro. You want to you wanna try that again? Bro, I stay around here. I've seen it. I've been here when the bro, kids jump it. That's been months ago. These kids ain't even been coming around the block because y'all harassing them from trying to just get in the oh, pool, bro. You understand what harassment Y'all harassing me, right? You, you am, I, am, I free, am I free to leave? Not yet. No. 
Am I free to leave? No. I'll go. Not yet. We're going to take your pictures and then you'll be free. No, nah, I, I, I don't consent. You don't got to consent. Yeah. You can, you I don't consent. Okay, cool. Take uh, you down for obstruction. Hey, boy, do you have your camera? Yeah. Take me to jail for a scratch. I'm on. I'm on. I'm right, I'm right here in, in public, public domain. This is private. Nah, this ain't private. This this, this ain't private right here. It's private over there. This is sidewalk. Uh, but look, we just gonna take your pictures. We gonna let you go. I already got you. Uh, pulled up. Got your information and everything like that. Yeah. We just gonna take your pictures. Mm -hmm. We're gonna sit you anyway. Okay? Make sure I send it to my lawyer in a couple hours. Okay. okay. My attorney. Sure, yep. Yeah. Send that to my attorney. Yeah, make sure y'all stop done too. Y'all harassing me. Mm-hmm. I'm being harassed. I'm being harassed. Nah, you don't even know the definition of your law. <laughs> you talking about y'all out here harassing me. I know exactly what it means. Yeah, you talking about. Now, as you can see here, we only have one bad cop, one bad apple, the one that initiated the unlawful detention. Luckily, two more cops showed up and put an end to the unlawful detention. Oh, wait, no. No, not one of these cops did the right thing by telling this man that he could leave and then telling the original officer that he can't detain people without reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime. I keep hearing that 99% of cops are good and it's just the bad apples that make them look bad, but I guess that all three of the cops that happened to show up on this scene also happen to be that 1%. I'm gonna let the rookie take the piss. Who's the rookie? Obviously, you the lower man. <laughs> That's cool. You lower man. I think you heard all the You the lower man. I got you doing that dirty work. Hey, look at me real quick. You know, they got the bruh man out here with them. <laughs> All right, Mr. They got the bruh man out here with them. They got the bruh man. They got the Uncle Tom out there, y'all. Walking is not illegal. Being out at 1.30 is not illegal. Wearing a jacket is not illegal. And I've done videos previously where we've gone over case law that says that being in a high crime area is not reasonable suspicion. None of the cops on scene seem to realize this, but I called the department playing devil's advocate to try to get other officers to justify the actions of these officers. Tuscaloosa City Police, it's Michelle. Hey, Michelle, are you an officer with the department? No, sir, I am not. Do you need to speak with one? Yeah, please. East Precinct, Officer Gore. Hello, this is James. Who am I speaking to? Officer Gore. Officer Gore. Hey, um, we, me and my family are looking at moving out there from Texas, and um, we were uh, kind of wondering what the laws are like out there as far as uh, our ability to use self-defense in our home. Um, it, 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 and I know the laws are different state by state. If someone breaks into my home in Alabama, am I allowed to use deadly force? You use whatever means necessary to protect your family if you're feeling in danger. I mean, it's a broad question. Every situation is different. Okay. No, that makes sense. Um, but you do what you need to do if you're in danger to protect you and your family, yes. Okay. What if the person... Is, um, in Texas, where their laws are pretty lax as far as property owners and stuff, um, what if what if uh, what if I've got a black guy walking down the sidewalk in my neighborhood um, at two o'clock in the morning? Can I just stop him and talk to him and hold him there for a little while, find out what he's doing? Um, it depends on the situation. I mean, you obviously can go up and talk to him and see what's going on. I mean, anybody can go up and talk to anybody, but as far as like holding them there, if they're not doing anything, you couldn't do that sort of situation. Okay. Even if it's in like an area where burglaries have happened, I can't just go and hold every black guy I see on the sidewalk at two in the morning? No. All right. 
Think I, so would I get in legal trouble for that then if I were to? I mean, he does it say he's got a hoodie on too, um, and it's two in the morning. So I'd get in legal trouble probably for getting my couple of my buddies and going and holding them till he answers our questions. Yeah. Yeah, crap. I did mention that he's black, right? And that doesn't have anything to do with anything. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so what what would happen then if we ended up doing that? You think we'd get arrested ourselves, or? Like I said, every situation is different. There would have to be more detail of exactly what's going on. All right. Um, as far as somebody just walking down the street and you stopping them and they're wanting to leave and you're not allowing them, then, yeah, you could potentially get in trouble. Maybe kidnapping, false imprisonment, something like that? Possibly. All right. What if he tries to run and we kind of beat the crap out of him? Never mind, never mind. I, uh, so... Would he have the right to defend himself then? I guess in that case, maybe we'd be the aggressor then in, in, the, in the eyes of the law at least, right? Like I said, it would depend on each situation. Every one of them is different and the totality of the circumstances and everything else. All right. Yeah, we, we saw this black guy walking down the street. He said he was just going to the store to get cigarettes. But if we were to try to hold him, he then he might actually have under your guys' laws, the, the right to defend himself against us by any means necessary, right? Depending on what you're doing to that person and what the situation is, All right. he can defend himself just like you can defend yourself. All right. So it's probably dangerous on my part to be just stopping random people and telling them under threat of violence that they had to stay here and talk to me? I would, if you saw somebody in your neighborhood, I w personally would not approach them. I would get a good description of them, call the police and call 911 and let them know what's going on. And we can come out if they're not supposed to be there and see what's going on. Okay. Oh, so you guys, so you guys would be able to hold them there then, but I can't? Is that kind of... Not necessarily, just depending on the exact situation of, at that time of what's going on. All right, so... Um, might need like some type of crime or something going on, not just a, the fact that he's black and walking at two in the morning. I'm not sure what being black has anything to do with it. Well, it's just the situation that we were in. He happened to be black and he happened to have a hoodie. Um, but that, but so that in and of itself, being black, having a hoodie and walking at two in the morning that you know we talk about totality of the circumstances those three things together would not justify me or your officers holding this guy and in questioning him we need something more or uh, only because someone's walking down the street they're african-american and wearing a hoodie is not a reason for you to hold someone hostage no damn all right well i guess i better be careful i might end up catching a bullet doing stuff like that huh um do your officers ever get concerned that that uh, if they were to uh, hold someone against their will like that that they might catch a bullet that that somebody might use self-defense against them or or do i mean i guess in texas maybe maybe in in uh, alabama police have more rights or something and they can they can just hold people against their will like that where i can't is that kind of how it goes? Or? I mean, there, there's got to, I can't answer a blanket question like that. There's got to be more details of exactly what's going on. Well, l like I said, there's three elements here. He's black, he's out at two in the morning, and he's got a hoodie. Is that enough? Or And he's in an area Are where burglaries... Are you going to hold him hostage? No. Okay, well, let's add a fourth element. He's, he was in an area where crimes had been committed within the last few months. Okay. We don't know that he committed any crimes, but it's in an area where crimes have been committed. Is that does that make it enough to where we can do something or black hoodie? Like I said, I would I would call nine one one and report what you're seeing. Okay, and then the police would be able to come out and hold him against his will, then, right? Not hold him against, not necessarily hold him against his will, but if it's not someone that lives in the neighborhood. And there's people calling saying this subject does not live in the neighborhood. We could get out with that subject 
to find out what they're doing there. It doesn't mean that you can hold them hostage, no. But the police could hold him against his will. Like, if, if you guys came out and you started asking him what he's doing out here, I mean, there's no way to find out if he lives in the neighborhood unless he's willing to answer questions, right? And he, won't an he wouldn't answer our questions, but you're saying the police could come out and force him to answer questions? Not necessarily. Hmm. Damn. All right. You think, all right. Well, I'm, I'm a little confused, and so we can't just stop anybody in our neighborhood. I mean, I guess I'm not confused. It seems pretty clear. So we can't just stop people in our neighborhood that, that for, you know, to check them out, and neither can the police? You can't hold them hostage just unless you, I mean, you can call the, call the police and let us come out and handle it. And then you guys can hold them hostage? Not, no. But you can question him, whether he wants to be You're questioned. You're asking a broad, open question, though. Well, I mean, it's... I'm just trying to figure out how to deal with blacks with hoodies in the neighborhood at 3 a.m. It's not... I mean, it doesn't seem that broad. It seems pretty specific. He's black. He has a hoodie. It's 3 a.m., and crimes have been committed in the neighborhood. Is that enough for you guys to hold him and question him if he wants to walk away? Just because someone is African American wearing a hoodie walking through a neighborhood does not mean you can hold that person hostage, no. At 2 a.m. in a neighborhood where crimes have previously been committed? Not necessarily, no. Okay. All right. Well, would that subject then have the right to use self defense if officers came out and did try to hold him against his will? It depends on the situation. Okay. So, so just like he would have the right to use self-defense against me and my buddies if we were to try to hold him, it's the same thing if the police were to tr come and try to hold him without, without uh, you know, under those four conditions, he'd be able to use self-defense against them too, right? It would depend on, it would depend on a situ the specific situation. All right. Well, you're off. Is there one that you're referring to that you're wanting to ask about? Oh, I'm just, you know, in general trying to figure out if those are the four elements, um, can our, su our, our subject um, uh, fill the officers with lead in self-defense considering that the officers are, are carrying firearms, too? Hang on just a second for me. Sure. This is Lieutenant McCaskill. Hey, Lieutenant McCaskill, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Doing good, thanks. This is James, by the way. Okay. How can I help you? Well, I was asking your officer some questions, and uh, uh, she transferred me to you. I guess she was just unclear on, on some things. I don't know. Um, I was wondering about my right to, uh, as Neighborhood Watch, to, to do things in my neighborhood. For example, uh, we got a black guy walking down the street, midnight, 2 in the morning, something like that, in a hoodie, and there's been crimes that have been committed in the neighborhood previously. Can we can we stop and hold this guy and question him? For what? Well, because he's walking around at two in the morning. Is it illegal to walk around at two in the morning? Yeah. I don't think in and of itself it's illegal, but I mean the totality of the circumstances is it's two in the morning. He's a he's a black man in a hoodie, and crimes have been committed in the neighborhood previously. Okay, so what's stopping? What's stopping you from stopping me? I'm black. Okay. What's stopping you from stopping me from walking around in my neighborhood? Well, we don't know if it's his neighborhood or not. Can we stop him and get his ID and find out where he lives? No. Who are you? Well, what I'm saying is, who are you to stop him? Well, I guess, can we call the cops then and have the cops stop him and find out where he lives? If you see something suspicious, you can call us, but you certainly can't. Uh do a citizen's arrest or false imprison somebody because you feel like they might be involved in a crime that you're really not sure if they are or not. All right, but so if we called if we called you guys though, then you guys could come out and at least hold him and find out where he lives, right? You're going to have to have a little bit more than a black guy walking around in the night. Well, like I said, there's been crimes committed in the neighborhood previously. Okay. Are you have you been to Tuscaloosa before? Yeah. Okay, so you know that half the city is black? Yeah. So you would know that it's not unusual for a black person to walk around in the middle of the night, seeing as how half the town is black? That's fair enough. Um, 
So I guess, can we stop anybody then? Black, white, Asian, brown, walking around at 2 in the morning? Uh, you, can, you can make a citizen's arrest if you're sure that a felony has occurred. However, you just can't stop somebody just because you feel like they're suspicious. Okay, and, and we wouldn't be able to call you guys to stop them either? And, and again, you know, I'm not saying that I know that this guy, you know, hopped a fence and robbed somebody. I'm just saying that that's happened before. So let's, you know... Let, Let's pretend this guy is white. I mean, does it? It doesn't. Apparently, the color doesn't matter. Um, can we stop anybody who's just walking down the street at two in the morning, or call you two and 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 get their ID to figure out if they live in the neighborhood or belong in the neighborhood, or or do we need something more than just a guy walking at night? You can call us, but you're going to need a little bit more than somebody just walking mind their own business middle of the night. All right. Um. And, and so you guys could come out, but you wouldn't be able to even get them to, I mean, you say you start asking you them questions. With, are you familiar with reasonable suspicion? Yeah, I, I am. Um, but I've seen cops basically just stop people and demand information out of them without it, and people give it up. Okay. Are you punking me? Is this like Ashton Kutcher or something like that? Um, well, are you, are, you, are you serious right now? I'll, I'll tell you what, man. Um, I was calling, yeah, somewhat to kind of, because this, is, this, set, this sounds absolutely ridiculous to you, obviously, right? Right. Are you aware that there's a video out there of your department stopping a black man at two in the morning, literally for walking down the sidewalk to go to the store? So... You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to call somebody at the mayor's office with that man. That's out well, of my lane. I'm glad you're disturbed by how ridiculous what I'm saying sounds. I called back multiple times and spoke to multiple officers who all thought I was ridiculous and stupid for thinking that I could use them against someone for walking down the street at 2 a.m. in an area where crimes had previously been committed. Why did I do this? Because in order to get qualified immunity, it must be determined that a reasonable officer would have reasonably believed that he or she was doing the right thing. I couldn't get a hold of a single officer that thought this behavior was reasonable. And as a matter of fact, it appears that they all thought I was an unreasonable POS for even trying to argue that this was okay. Please make sure to go check out the full video on Master Student DeMarco's channel and let him know that James Freeman sent you.